Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a video on different things. Um, a lot of things been going on, blah blah blah, and this and that, and with the house and stuff like that, and other things have been going on, so I've been a bit slack lately, but I'm trying to set up the website and what have you, so hopefully things will kind of, you know, get back into motion. <laughs> But I thought I'll do a video on the 10x10 10 10 project. So, I'll just show you what's kind of happening with it. So, um, some of the garden beds are still kind of plain, being prepped. Now, the chicken pen's still there, that's all finished now. So, I'm actually kind of going between chickens and ducks at the moment. Chickens because I want the chicken eggs, but ducks because I want to eat the ducks. So we'll see what's going on there. Um, now this is an asparagus bed. I've got to top it up so that should come on in spring. Uh, the other one is just basically been a compost heap. I've been turning it over. So we're in spring now even though it's been raining a lot. So we'll see what happens with that one. Um, the herb garden, I'm going to prune all this back. You can see I've got um, rocket going on here. So that's starting to bolt. You can see the seed heads coming through. And there's some garlic in there. Everything else is kind of going along alright. I'll probably prune a little bit, bit of it back. Now this is where I've been getting the majority of my rocket from over the last few weeks. You can see they've been kind of picked to death here and there. But that's been really good so kind of endless supply of um, salad greens I guess. So that's been doing really well. So good stuff there. Um, this bed, I've just been prepping that over winter as well, so that's got another layer to go on top. So that'll be cool. Um, move the gooseberry, so that's in here now. Um, artichoke. Now you can see along here I've got three more artichokes that I put in there that I salvaged from another garden. So they're coming along alright. I planted some rhubarb bulbs, and or crowns I should say. They're coming up nice. And I hope you can see just along here, that little row, that's more garlic. So those cloves, <coughs> bulbs I should say, I'll um, grow <coughs> up to normal and then I'll separate all those cloves and I'll replant them again next season. So they should do really well. I've also put in some cuttings here just recently as well, some thyme and some sage, so I'm hoping that'll do really well. It's just been raining a lot. Now, I shouldn't complain, like the rain's great, but it's just so constantly cold and wet all the time and after a while it kind of gets you a bit down. You know what I mean? Now, the garden bed has been prepped up, but just because of the rain, I need to turn it over again because it's just flat. So I'll turn that over. Um, managed to get a crab apple. So I'm going to plant that in here. It's only a small one. It's actually a golden hornet, which is the yellow one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the lemon tree, pretty bad because of the cold. So hopefully they'll come back. Blueberry. So that's starting to um, bud up now. So that's cool. That's a plum that I managed to salvage. So we'll see how that comes out. And mint is coming up okay. And that's that compost bin that you can see. And that's basically the garden bed there. So, the main things really are to put in uh, zucchini, eggplant, tomatoes, lettuce, maybe carrots, radish, beetroot. They're the main things. They're the main things I like to eat. So that's what I'm going to be putting in. But once it starts to kind of get a bit warmer, even though we are in spring at the moment, we are still susceptible to late frosts here. So even though it's spring, it's still bloody freezing cold. So we'll see how we go. Um, I'll probably put in some seeds in some trays and uh, to raise the seedlings because I can kind of you can control the environment that they're in, keep them a little bit warmer for germination. I'll go over that with you guys too. Um, but a lot of stuff, I'll, this year I'll just have a crack at putting the seeds straight into the garden bed. And we'll see how it goes as well. So, that's it. <coughs> Pardon me, that's it basically. As far as the 10 by 10 but spring, more, more so later in spring, it'll really start to kick off. So we really should get a really good abundant crop in there as well. 
and I'm actually talking to someone tonight, I'm going to see them tonight, and they've got um, pigs, and they've got about 10 piglets that they don't want, so I might even get be able to score a pig, I'm trying to work out the ratio of feeding it, if I'm going to be able to feed it without expending too much cash, what have you, because I want to eat the pig. <coughs> Pardon me, should have the jumper on. But we'll see what happens. I'll let you know what's going on with that too. So, I've had sheep and chickens and all that before, so it'd be good to have pigs. A lot of people I know have had pigs, so we'll see how we go. And it'd be good to have another chapter with things as far as um, rearing and raising pigs as well. But that's basically it with the garden. Uh, I hope you're all well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.